Well, if you want to sing out, sing out. And if you want to be free, be free. Cause there's a million things to be, you know that there are. And if you want to be high, be high. And if you want to be low, be low. Cause there's a million ways to go, you know that there are. Harold and Maude is a movie of generational differences and rebirth that begins by showing the unusual adolescence of Harold, a youth with a somewhat unhealthy state of mind seen in his obsession with death. This obsession is played out through fabricated suicides that attempt to torment his mother and is emphasized even further through Harold's interest in attending the funerals of strangers. It is at one of these funerals that Harold begins his insightful transformation through the chance meeting of a 79-year-old woman by the name of Maude. Although initially skeptical about Maud's quirky lifestyle, he soon begins to see that there's more to life than death. Maud shares her philosophy on life through stories, advice, music, art, and personal experiences, all which open up Harold's world. Over time, Harold begins to open up in a way he has n- never before, and shares past stories about his life with Maud. As these two newfound companions continue to grow together, a mutually healthy and romantic relationship blooms. Harold and Maude fall in love and arrange to be married, much to the chagrin of Harold's family and several other individuals who believe they are some, of some societal importance. Unfortunately, their love was not meant to last. As Harold organizes a surprise 80th birthday party for Maude, it is actually he who receives the biggest surprise of all. Maude has no intention of living a day past 80 and has taken a lethal do- dose of pills and will not live past midnight. Harold rushes Maude to the hospital in hopes of finding aid, but to no avail, and Maude passes away. Although Maude's passing was a very tragic loss for Harold, we see in the final scene of the movie Harold driving his beloved car, a modified hearse, off of a cliff. However, Harold is still revealed to be at the top of the cliff, holding on to one of the, his last remaining pieces of Maude, a bandeau she has given him. Harold, with his new perspective on life, says goodbye to death as he strums on his banjo and dances off to embrace the life that Maude has given him. One of the major themes in the movie Harold and Maude is death more specifically the idea of suicide. Suicide is a tricky subject to talk about, but I think that the director, Hal Ashby, captured it in a vaguely comedic way so it wouldn't be too dark. Harold carried out numerous elaborate fake suicides throughout the movie, while Maude carried out one suicide and was successful. Maude's carefree and jubilant way of living that is so evident throughout the movie is a foreshadowing into her attitude about death. She doesn't view death as something to be scared of or dread, but takes it head on when she believes that the time is right. Maud simply decides to herself that 80 years is a good age to die. It appears that she would rather be dead than have to live with possible lessening physical abilities as she ages even more. Harold's suicides were elaborate, staged, and seemed to feel like his life was doomed. His suicides appeared to be a cry for help and attention from his mother. But his relationship with Maud helped him overcome this fascination with death and fill the dark void in his life. He finally had someone to love him and make him feel like he was capable of enjoying life. This is illustrated in the final scene when he crashes his modified hearse into the ocean. He's letting go of his ideas about death and embracing Maud's philosophy about living life to the fullest. While the film is able to debunk many of the stereotypes that are commonly directed towards seniors, it also perpetuates one key element. Maud is the opposite of the stereotypical senior, which is seen in her high levels of energy and her continued positive outlook on life. She is always singing and dancing and has a wild side, as seen when she gets into a car chase with a police officer in which she shows no fear. She debunks the view of a stagnant senior we all picture, with the exception of one crucial aspect. Despite Maud's positive outlook on life, she decides to end her life at 80. This is so unexpected given her attitude towards life throughout the entire film, yet she does not believe life is worth living. This supports the stereotype that getting older can be difficult to deal with as there is less and less to look forward to. The relationship between Harold and Maude is a key theme seen throughout the movie. Harold and Maude takes us through multiple layers of relationships, ultimately the strong bond of romance and intimacy. This relationship is critical, as it uncovers the topic of older adults engaging in sexual activity. Generally, the two put together is often taboo, and viewed negatively in our culture. The cultural belief is that as one ages, sexual activity and interest is declined and eventually non-existent. In hearing these beliefs, It has the effect of older adults' attitude of shame, guilt, and that intimacy is for the young. Maude is a perfect example of how older adults continue to engage in romance and intimate relationships, and defies the negative prejudice views. 
The view of society is also well developed in the movie. The reaction of Harold's mother, the psychologist, priest, and his uncle greatly represents the reality of society. The fact that an older person is sexually active is most likely the true reason for the outrageous responses and less about the fact that Harold was sexually involved. Thus the movie emphasizes on the theme of relationship, countering the idea of older adults being lonely and isolated individuals void of companionship. Although we don't always perceive it consciously, music is an exceptionally strong component in building the emotional framework to any film. Music can have an influential effect on how we as viewers see the story unfold while simultaneously providing auditory aesthetics that enhance our experience. The song in the opening scene of Harold and Maude, Don't Be Shy, speaks to the notion that true love cannot be inhibited by anything or anyone. This theme runs throughout the movie as seen in Harold's purposeful discouragement of his mother's influence on his romantic life and the subsequent development of love between Harold and Maude. Arguably the most important song that occurs throughout the movie is If You Want to Sing Out, Sing Out. This song is very reflective of Maude's positive outlook on life and how her life experiences are able to alter Harold's pessimistic worldview. The song appears to, on three occasions during the movie at times when Maude is providing valuable insight to Harold, each of which furthers his transformation away from his obsession with death. The music of Harold and Maude is certainly an important part of the film. The songs written and chosen for this film support the understanding of the relationship that develops between the two main characters. Well, if you want to sing out, sing out And if you want to be free, be free Cause there's a million things to be You know that there are 